As a 16 year public educator, I know what it's like to be in the trenches. I know the frustration, the overwhelm, the discouragement and the hard work. I also know the successes. The mission of my blog is simple, to help you find your more. More time, more from technology, more student engagement and more hope. Hey everybody, it's Susie, and I'm so glad to have you back for day five of Techmas. I'm gonna try a little hybrid tonight because I've had a hard time deciding, do I show my face? Cause I do want to be your happy host or do I just show the tech tip? And I haven't found a good combination for that. So in a very non-professional way, I am holding this iPad in my hand and then I'm gonna try to aim it at my screen. So if you love that, just feel free to give me some hearts at the bottom. I wanna know if you prefer seeing my face not that I'm that into myself, trust me. I need to get these eyebrows done. Or if you prefer, if you if you prefer seeing uh, just the tech tip. But of course, I want to start tonight with a Christmas tip. So will you come on over with me to this corner of the office? And I'm sure you'll see a mess. So try not to look at that. But I just want you to look at something I am so happy about. Um, I said I'm the happy host. I try to make you happy, but I'm also in general a happy person. And I just want to show you this really cool craft idea that I'm sure I stole off of Pinterest. I did it a few years ago. Uh, some of you will notice your faces on it because every year I lovingly put this away and bring it back out. I Ziploc all my cards together from that year and label what year they're from and I do save those. So I see some Ribleys on there and some Sequoia High School and some Ramseys and some Holtz and some um, Mass and Gills and then others who did not send me their picture. But anyway, just want to show you guys this. All I did was take an embroidery hoop, which you can buy from, I've gotten them um, now at just thrift stores all over the place. I took clothes pins and I had, you can see that some of these are colored in. I had um, all colored clothes pins and then they fell off. So when I replaced them, I, I replaced them with just plain ones. But the big trick is that you, let me zoom in one more time here. The big trick is that you reverse the direction. So you can see how the clip on some of them is going out and some is coming in. And that way you can fit a bunch of cards. So I've shown you fudge, I've shown you Christmas tea, and then here's my little wheel of Christmas cards that I love to hang up every year. So back to me. So, woo, that was zoomed up. It's like when you're in selfie mode on your phone and you're not a teenager and you don't realize that you were in selfie mode. So anyway, tonight we're gonna get really down and dirty with uh, Google Chrome extensions. I've got several favorites. And so what I'm gonna do in this very classy, professional way, is I'm going to aim the iPad at my computer screen so that I could talk to you, but now I can switch over to my computer and still show you what I want to show you. Okay, so here we go. Let me flip it around. Okay, there we go. That was my wall. It's really cute. Okay, so I want you to see that I'm looking at the Google Chrome browser. I dedicate this video to Courtney White, who refuses to use Chrome. She says, I will use Internet Explorer, and that is totally your prerogative. If you look at the bottom of my computer, you will see that actually I have three browsers available there. I have Chrome, I have Internet Explorer, and I have Edge. I cannot tell you the last time that I have used a browser besides Chrome unless one of those didn't work. But there are days, my friends, when it's a three browser day. So it's a good idea to have whatever browser you're comfortable with, but just know that the reason I like Google Chrome is this. All of these things up in the top right corner, my extensions, okay? Internet Explorer was never an extendable, I guess if we could use that word, it was never an extendable browser. And y'all, I'm really trying to keep my hands still. Um, but I like Chrome because it is, and here's why. Because it means it's customizable. And how it's customizable is it's related to your Gmail account, is what I say. But your Google account, which it can be the way you sign into YouTube, the way you sign into um, Gmail, the way you sign into Chrome, all of those are tied together, any Google product. So I wanna show you how you can sign into Chrome if you've not been doing that. Um, usually when you go to Chrome for the first time, you will get prompted to sign in and that aggravates teachers at school so they just close it out and go on their merry way. But the reason that you'd wanna sign in is because uh, you can have these extensions that follow you no matter what machine you're on. If you're signed in, I could be on a school computer, I could be on a home computer or wherever I am, okay? To a website, okay? But I'm going to use my fabulous Zoom and let me actually turn this sideways. Okay, give me a second. There we go. And I want to show you where you would click. I'm going to attempt to do this with one hand. You would click right over here on the three dots. And I'm already signed in, but if you weren't, you would scroll down to the word settings. 
and I'm not going to show you my personal email address on here, but you would see where you could sign in. I'm already signed in, so mine says sign out, okay? Now I'm going to go back to both hands and not cover the camera. How about that? Okay, so let's talk about what I planned to talk about tonight, which was my favorite Google Chrome extensions. And so I'm going to point and then talk because I don't want to keep this too wobbly for too long of a period of time. But I want you to look at the one, first of all, that is the eyedropper. And that one, y'all, is the most fun. Let me click on it. This one is called Colorzilla. Last night we talked about, um, and of course it's going to give me a weird message now, but I'll switch pages in a minute. But um, last night we talked about prettying up on your online life. And Colorzilla is like the supreme for pretty, okay? Show you uh, how this, this little um, extension can work. So I'm going to go search frog. Fiog is how you spell that. I'm going to go search frog and I'm going to switch to Google Images. And the reason I pick frog is because frogs come in such cool colors, okay? And so, for example, let's say, oh my gosh, I'm so crazy about the green of this frog, okay? I can come up to Colorzilla. It says the color picker is active. That's because that's the tool I use the most. But if it was not active, you could just choose it right here. And now I'm going to hover over that green. I'm going to give it a second. Sometimes it has to register that you've moved across the page. Okay? But what you'll notice is I get an exact, let me point here if you can see that. I get an exact RGB, which is red, green, blue. If I were to put that, num that number in Microsoft Word or in another program that allows for RGB, I believe PowerPoint does, or if you're going to use an online program, a lot of those call for a hex code. That just means the six-digit code, it's followed, it has a pound sign. And what's that six-digit code that means this exact color? It's not any other green. I want you to notice this one is 438 or A82F. But if I hover down here to his little yellow green on his mouth, give it a minute. Okay, sometimes I have to kind of click there to tell it where I want it to go. Come on, baby. Okay, let me hover better. I'm going to get my little color picker. Come on, baby. I'm going to choose the color picker, and I'm going to come right here on him. Y'all, it's just because you're watching me that this is acting up. <laughs> okay, there we go. I told you to tell the truth. See how the color totally changed? So it's not just going to be generic. It's going to be, um, and I'm going to turn off this one light because I know you're seeing the glare there. Okay. Okay. Um, you're, it's going to give you a custom color for whatever you're pointing at, okay? So that's Colorzilla. It can do one other tool that I thought was kind of, uh, one other trick I thought was kind of cool. I have not used it, honestly, but I played with it a little bit for you guys. And it's called Web Page Color Analyzer. Let me scoot over where you can see that a little bit better, okay? It's called Web Page Color Analyzer, and what it does is it'll take a whole page. So, for example, this is going to be a crazy one to look at. But I was back on that whole page of frogs. If I click Colorzilla and I say Web Page Color Analyzer, it's going to give me every color used on that page. Now, I picked a crazy page, but let's just say that there's a blog you're a fan of and you're wanting to maybe rebrand. Wouldn't this be awesome to go and, you know, come on over to their blog and see what color scheme that they're using that really inspires you, okay? So that's Colorzilla, and you can get it if you missed me talking last night. If you just go out to Chrome and you search for Chrome Web Store, zoom in on that, okay, it actually comes up second after the Microsoft Store, which makes me laugh, but if I click Chrome Web Store, then I can search for whatever, so if you wanted Colorzilla, you would just type it right there, and you could search for any extension that you want to add. Now, I've already added it, so what mine says over here is rate it. If it were one I didn't have, I could click Add to Chrome, okay? So same process for whatever extension you want to get. So let's continue our tour. Okay, the next fan, uh, the next extension of which I'm a huge fan, I owe to Chris Craft. He's always a featured speaker at GAETC, and this is just a really simple, practical Chrome extension. It's, it's a CT, and again, it's called Crafty Text. What I will do as soon as I'm done is I will leave all of these listed in the comments. So when I click Crafty Text, I need to click it again. Come on, baby. Y'all, it's just because you're watching me. They're not working. Give it a minute. Okay, I'm going to try one more time. Crafty Text. There we go. Okay, when I click Crafty Text and I type something, it makes it big and it takes, not the, takes up the whole board. Also, they just added this feature to shorten it or to shorten it with a QR code. So let's just say that I'm going to type um, some directions. 
start okay I don't want to type it there here we go start y'all really I'm here I am in the box I need to get off the search page okay I'm gonna go somewhere else this is real life are you ever do you ever have real life <laughs> when someone's trying to watch you your students, you're doing math on the board and it doesn't work. If you have a real life moment, I'd love for you to leave it below when technology, when this happens to you too, with your students. Okay, let me try one more time. Crafty text. I'm going to try to type now. You rooting for me? So let's say I want them to start their one. Yes, it just did not like when I was on the search page. Start your warm up. We will review in five minutes. Okay, look what happens. It just got huge and it covers the whole screen, okay? So it gets purple, huge, and it fills the whole screen. What is that useful for? Maybe you have a web address that you want kids to see. Maybe you, um, like you said, like I said earlier, you want to shorten it or you want to share it with a QR code. Crafty Text will do all of that. It's just a really simple extension. I use it because I'm a trainer and sometimes I have to take a bathroom break. So while I'm waiting on my next group of teachers to come in, I will put Crafty Text on the board to kind of draw their attention, okay? So that's a favorite one. I'm going to save this little funnel guy. Let me get back on where you can see what they look like, okay? I'm going to save. Let me see if I can set it right here. I'm going to save that little funnel guy because he's my favorite. And I'm going to come back to him, okay? Uh, another fun one, and we talked about this one last night, so I won't stay on it too long, is Emoji for Google Chrome. If you click this, it is searchable. And so I can look at the different categories. I've got just plain emojis here. I've got... Um, Nature there, food, sports. I think those are all places. Yeah, places. These are symbols. These are like, um, kind of. I'll call that the boring section. These are more like your basic symbols. But if you need an arrow or something. Um, these are all your flags. And then these are your most recent ones that you've used. Okay, so last night in my video I was using this one. What you do to use these is you click on them. They go down here into the copy box. You can do more than one. So if I want to copy a turkey and a clown and a moon and whatever, when I get all the ones I want, let me show you what the copy box looks like. Do, do, do. I can click copy. And once I copy it, I can paste it anywhere just like text. So again, if you'll go back and watch day four, you'll see how you can put those in your Google Drive or your OneDrive or your LMS that your school provides. They paste in just like text, okay? Oh, and another cool use, if you want to check out Tony Vincent, he has a th whole thing called Emoji Education uh, that he presented at GATC, and I think he's presented at some other conferences. If you want to go check that out, then um, you can see some other ways to use emoji. So that's just a shout out to Tony. Okay, another favorite one is, of course, Bitmoji, y'all. If you're a fan of Bitmoji, everybody says, Susie, yours, exact, yours looks exactly like you. I think it's just because of the asymmetrical hair. But you can actually search Bitmoji and paste those in right from here. So I'm not going to spend a long time on Bitmoji, but how fun is that? Okay, one more before I get to my very favorite. Let's say that you need a QR code. A lot of times when I'm making, for example, a breakout EDU game, I need a QR code and I need it right now for, and I'm going to click on crafty text to close that. I need a QR code right now. I need it quickly. I need it for this page that I'm currently on. Here's what I do. I go over here to, it's called the QR code extension. So if you're searching for this, again, I'll post them all in the comments. But when you click the QR code extension, it will pop up the address you're currently on. Here's a QR code. Here's how you can edit or it even has a built-in scanner from your webcam. Y'all, that's a game changer. A lot of times students have PCs or they have Chromebooks. They don't necessarily have an Apple product where they can quickly install, you know, a QR reader or they don't have, you know, maybe their own phones depending on their age. So here they can scan right from the webcam or they can edit the QR code. You can as the teacher if you need to share with them. So I did that just by clicking that extension right from the page. So I have saved the best for last. Are you ready? It is one tab and y'all, it is fabulous. When I hit it right now, I'm going to make it a little bit more impressive by restoring some pages that I currently have. So I'm going to slide this to the side. You can still see me, I think. There's my big arm. <laughs> Let me pull up some more pages so that this is more impressive for you. Give me just a minute. Okay, I'm going to pull up some things I had open today. I'm going to pull up YouTube. I'm going to pull up Google Drive. 
I'm going to pull up this. If you've never played the game, keep talking and nobody explodes. It's amazing. <laughs> you've never played that game, so that's just a little shout out. And I'm going to open Canva. Okay. If you're a crazy teacher like me, we know I'm crazy. That's why I'm messing with the camera, doing all that kind of stuff. But if you're a teacher like me, you have about 55 browsers open at the end of the day. Let's just say that your computer starts to run slow. Well, using this one tab extension will collapse all of your current tabs down and it'll save 90%, 90% of the working memory that's required to run Chrome. So let me show you that part. So I am on this little thing that looks like a funnel. I'm going to move closer one more time. Looks like a little funnel. And again, it's called one tab. I tap it and watch what happens. Okay, I'm going to move it back over where you can see. All of these went into storage in one tab. Now this is a device specific extension. So even though you can get to it from any computer, your tabs will be saved based on the machine that you were on. Okay, so when I collapse those tabs, they go down into storage by date and by time. Now here's what's even more fascinating. Let's just say that you have little ones and you need them to have a bunch of links, but you only want to share one link. Here's what you can do. Let me go down to a really impressive one. Okay, I've got all of this stuff open. I can say, I don't know if you can see that there, I've got one that has 12 tabs. I can say share as web page. And when I do, it gives me one link right up here at the top. If I were to put that in my LMS or email it to students, it would bring them to a page that looks just like this. It's not giving them access to like my Google sign in or anything like that, but it's giving them almost like a web quest or a favorites list. Imagine the possibilities of that. What's even cooler is you can share this QR code and with that QR, they would be able to access the same link. So send them the link, post the QR code, use those in tandem. But I love one tab for all of that. And then the final reason I love one tab is we all get ready to go home at the end of the day. We're like, okay, I've been here an extra hour. What have I accomplished? Nothing. Or an extra three hours for that matter. And I need to go home and I don't know what I'm still working on. I need it available tomorrow. We'll simply use one tab to collapse everything down. Again, you've got it by date. You've got it by time. And when you come in the next day, even this one that has 12 tabs, I can say restore everything. And with one click, y'all look at the magic. They're all loading at the top. Isn't that fascinating? So again, let me flip this back around here. Chrome is customizable. That's why it's my favorite browser. That also can make it sometimes crash. I'll be honest, there are times when I've had to give Chrome a rest because it was not cooperating well. I probably had it too extended out. But lots of favorite options that you can use. Colorzilla for customizing color. One tab for saving space. Crafty text for putting a big message that you want students to notice on the board. The emoji extension for a lot of fun. And then of course, Bitmoji. There are lots of others and you know what I want you to do with them? I want you to go to this little box down here. I want you to share your favorites in the comments. I want you to share if one of these changed your life. You're like, oh my gosh, Susie, that was amazing. I want to hear that. I hope I'm not just sitting in my office making these videos for nobody, but I know I'm not because you're excited about Techmas and so am I. So stay tuned because tomorrow is day six. I'm going to interrupt my friend's Christmas party to talk to you about um, my favorite podcast. And so I'm going to broadcast about podcasts and I'm going to share a quick Christmas game called the Socking Exchange. So I will see you then. Take care, guys. Hey, guys, I put my heart into these videos, so I hope you loved it. I hope you've loved all of them. But if you haven't, then make sure you go back and watch the previous videos. I'm making playlists for you all the time. So if you're somebody who wants time savers, there's a playlist for that. If you want to gamify, playlist for that. And all of my themes of my blog. So did you like it? Go ahead and click the thumb below. If you really liked it, I'd love if you shared it on your favorite social media channel. I'm at Suzy Lolly on Twitter. And then finally, my very favorite is if you subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube and subscribe on the blog. Take care.